you're running for re-election? While I'm running for re-election is, I think that uh, one of the priorities is property taxes. They need to be addressed a little bit better. So, um, you know, as far as keeping access to public lands, that's another big priority. And maybe uh, we'll see if, if I do get back in what we can do with the minimum wage. Yeah. Do you want to talk about any specifics that you have in mind of how you would address these issues that you brought up? Not really, because that's going to depend if I get back in, because I'm the only one in, in, this, uh, in this district area that has someone running against them. So it depends if I get back there and, and then what I'm going to do. And you successfully ran against Dustin. Yes, in 2018. 2018. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, let's see, what have you learned this past year, or the past two years, that um, are going to help you if you're reelected? Well, I've learned actually how to, you know, negotiate <laughs> a little better up there in the Capitol. So, you know, and that's a big part of trying to meet, you know, meet in the middle of the aisle to get something done. But, uh, you know, met a lot of people, you know, that, uh, that are on the other side of the aisle that were great, you know, good, good people. So that's, that's, that's pretty much a big, a big learning curve right there. Um, so let's get back into those issues. You mentioned uh, property taxes is big, one of the biggest issues. Um, how do you feel that that's impacting our community? Well, I'm pretty sure it's impacted the whole state. So, but uh, you know, it needs to be addressed as far as probably by local, you know, your local uh, government definitely a little more and seeing if uh, you know it can be it can be actually dealt with a little better because. What the problem is, is that the residents, you know, are, are taking all the brunt of it, you know, and we need to start probably, uh, you know, raising taxes on corporations maybe a little more, so. Okay, um, and then you also said public lands. Um, what, what do you feel is uh, the issue surrounding that? Well, we just want to make sure that we can get access to them. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of out-of-staters coming in and buying lands and closing them off, so, you know. So people can't get, you know, to them, you know, and they're having issues, you know, and, and it shouldn't be that way. Um, and uh, remind me, what was the third one that you had mentioned? Wages. Wages, that's right. As far as that goes, as far as wages, mm -hmm. I think that if we can get, maybe get them bumped up, I think it's going to help a lot, a lot of uh, some of the, you know, people that, that are having to have three or four jobs. You know, they may not have to have that, and, and you know, and they may be able to be able to, you know, buy a house, you know. So it definitely needs to be addressed, and, and, and you know, we're, uh, we're one of the lowest in the 48 as far as minimum wage. That's right. So. Um, and then another big uh, thing coming to Idaho and Bannock County is uh, our growth. We are just exponentially growing. Um, in your position as a representative of the area, how would you help manage that growth or kind of lead our community through it? Well, I think we definitely need to start looking at taxing, like I said, some of the bigger businesses coming in. You know, you've got Amazon that's up, you know, building a huge warehouse up there in, you know, Meridian. So I'm hoping that, uh, you know, they're gonna pay their fair share. Right. So, you know, and you know, and, and, and I know, I don't want to say small businesses need to have any more, you know, taxes raised on them. They're having a hard enough time as it is with what's been going on this year. So, but that, I think we need to address as far as getting more taxes out of, you know, out of your, uh, your bigger, your bigger companies. Okay. Is there anything else that you wanted to communicate to um, potential voters? Or mm -hmm. No, just that, uh, you know, you know, if, if, I, if I get reelected, you know, I plan on working with the people that elected me just as much as the people that didn't. So, 